So hey everyone on YouTube, um, I'm sorry I've been not posting anything for a long time. I was actually out on the road with my band, uh, Fans of Me Century. Uh, you can check us out at youtube.com forward slash FOJCTV if you want. Um, but I'm getting back in the swing of it now. I wanted to just do make a quick tutorial of how to chroma key in uh, in After Effects. When I was starting After Effects, I looked all over for trying to find the right way to key and this kind of thing and I got several plugins and I still use them all but I got uh, you know plugins where you can select multiple parts of the of the, the green screen and do all this and do all that and finally I, I came up with the or I found the actual easiest method that works for me um, the uh, the keen looks great um, it takes all of about a minute to key something out and uh, and really look sharp. And one thing I always do is I always hate these tutorials that you find on YouTube and you got to spend a half an hour listening to the guy talking before he actually gets to it. So because of that, I'm just going to jump right into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a green screen footage. This is a clip from a band that I'm um, doing a booking video for. Um, so this is the drummer. We're going to grab the green screen footage. We're going to bring it down to our timeline and make a new comp out of that and then uh, now you can see on my key I mean my green screen you know I have all the lights in the way so we're gonna, first we're gonna do is mask that out so let me bring this down to about maybe 25 percent so I can have some room below him we're gonna go up here and grab our pencil tool we're gonna draw a mask around our talent and I'm gonna get this cord out of here and that's the first step. Get rid of anything you don't want on your green screen, like lights, you know, pictures on the wall, etc. And then, or just any extra green screen that your talent's not actually in, just get rid of it. And so there, we have a nice uh, little area that all we have to do is key out this much of the area. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and to our effects search, and we're going to type in key light. All one word, and right down here you're gonna find key light 1.2, and uh, this comes with After Effects, so you don't gotta have you know some other fancy plugin. Just grab key light 1.2, pull it on your talent, and uh, then go over here and take the selection tool. We bring this back up to full screen. I'm gonna go back over here and grab the selection tool, and um, you can either get the darkest area. What seems to work best for me is getting something close to the talent. And now we can check that by just going over here to view and where it says uh, final result. I'm going to pull that down and go to screen mat. The screen mat, you can still see a lot of gray ish. It's not full black. This whole back area should be full black. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and key that one more time. Let me go back over here to um, final result. And actually, you know what? Sorry, let me just go back and hit go to source. Now we're going to take this, I'm going to key something a little darker, and go back over here to mask view. It's a little better. Got rid of some of that uh, graininess. Now all you're going to do is go over here to where it says screen gain. We're just going to bring that screen gain down, or up, I'm sorry, I'm dyslexic, until everything behind our talent is black. So maybe about... Eh, that's looking pretty decent right there on 120. And this is going to vary depending on your on your uh, you know uh, your footage. So if you got a lot of wrinkles, it might be a little more, might be a little less. Um, you know, don't be too afraid of it. Now, a lot of people are like, don't go past 120, but I've gone past that and you know not really had that many problems. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to go over here to, to screen mat. I'm going to pull that down, pull this down. We're going to bring the black up a little bit. And that way now it's full black in the back. All this is completely black. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the uh, uh, clip white. We're going to bring that down until everything inside this area is white. So just bring that down until all that goes white. So now he's, everything that I need is white, white. Now we're going to come over here, down here to uh, to screen uh, shrink and glow. And I don't even need to pull that down. All you have to do is screen shrink, shrink and glow. You know, take that. You have to play around this a little bit. Usually, 
minus one, or you know, sometimes might have to go minus two to get the green um, glow off around him, and or whoever you're shooting. So I'm gonna do just for right now. I'm gonna do minus one on the screen shrinking glow and the soften. I'm gonna add one. Sometimes you might have to add two, depend on you know, or or one point five. So uh, you know, sc screen shrinking glow is gonna shrink the surrounding area. Let me go back over here, and then we're gonna go up, up back up here. And we're going to go to final result. There's our final result. I think he looks pretty good. Let me just show you what screen shrinking glow does. So if I um, go over here to shrink, and if I want to see how he's just taking away till he's just nothing. So basically, what, what I'm doing is just making sure there's no actual, you know, green left. If we go up higher, we're going to get this little weird border. And, but anyhow, so I'm going to usually take that down just a little bit off anyone and I'll do like, uh, you know, minus one or maybe minus, uh, I might do minus, uh, 0.05, you know, uh, actually, no, I won't. <laughs> so yeah, I'll do my, oh, actually 0.1. So, but we're going to do minus one just because I think that's great. And then what I'll do is I'll come up here to soften and I'll usually make that one or two, but I think he looks pretty good right there. Um, what I'm going to do now is just go over here and grab a piece. Here's just a background image I took offline so we can check it out, see how our work looks. And we are going to make that bigger. Scale that up. So that looks pretty bad because it's pretty low quality, but it's just a quick tutorial to show you how to key. So there you go. See, he has no green outlay, out, out, you know, outlines. Symbols are all still there. He looks pretty sharp. He put some color correction on him, and he's going to look great. If you see this white kind of coming through his shirt, that's because I actually shot him with a, a light on his back. Because uh, when they're on stage, I want lights to be on the, you know, be hitting, looking like they're wrapping around him. So that's why you see this. But it's not green, so that's perfect. Another thing that I want to point out when you're shooting your green screen uh, on for your artists let me just go over here and come back to him and take off the effects real quick so um, when you're when you're shooting your green screen on your artist <coughs> uh, one thing you want to do is you want to make sure you shoot them as far away from the back of the screen as you can so if your screen is um, like right now he's set up let me get turn the mask off here so if I just um, kill that mask, um, that's not what I want to do. Let me just delete that mask. So right now you can see, you know, he's a good five feet out in front of where that curved wall goes up. So there's no shadow on the background of him playing drums. <clears throat> and you can see the light under his thing that's coming from this light right here because in the on the stage it'll actually be a light coming up, so I want to I want to replicate that um, on the green screen. But yeah, you want to shoot your talent as close up to the camera and as far away from this wall as you can, so that way there's no, you know, uh, background uh, overflow of shadows. You know, because if you're shooting this this guy right up next to this wall, you're gonna have a shadow there, and if there's nothing behind him, you got to get rid of that shadow. So just another another tip. So hope that helps, and um, please comment, subscribe, and um, tell me what you think. Talk to you soon.